Hello there, this is C-A-N, the B-A-N, Kenan from Kenan Place. And today we're going to play part 12 of No One, No One, Absolutely No One But You. I gotta say, I've not been playing the past few days because I've been down with a sore throat. Hopefully my voice is better right now, so maybe I'll just do a shorter video for today. Right, let's load the game. Yes, part 12 is correct. Real. Then the monster ripped her clothes off and... Oh my god, Ryo, do you think we have to talk about that manga now? It was getting... But I was getting to the really good and strangely sad part. How about we talk about this stuff after we're done with this hell? Fine. Hell meaning a, the exams? The teacher is here anyway. Oh crap, it's about to start. Almost done. Exams nearing completion. Liberation is coming soon. Days to liberation. One. Sai, and that's the last one. Why Sai? It's good, right? It's the last one. You should be happy, right? My exams have been have been fine have been completed for another day. Oh, miss, there's still more exams. <laughs> Just one day left, and I'll be free at last. Alright, if my voice is slightly lower today, um, that's because of my sore throat. Okay, maybe I should have stopped here in the previous video instead. Well, let's just continue. Whoa! Oh, I thought Yui spoke to me. Instead, Heidi is actually speaking to Yui first. Well, I don't expect her to start a conversation anyway. Hey Yui, I was having a problem with this equation and... The answer is 34. Come on, you can just help me, right? Explain to me, Yui. Explain, explain. How do you know, how did you even know what question I was having difficulty with? Because I know you, Heidi. Well, she knows Heidi. Not bad. No, you don't. Da da da. Crap, she was right. What are you doing anyway? I noticed that Yui was drawing on her notebook. I don't know, I'm bored. You are really in the exam spirit, aren't you? No sooner had I said that than the teacher walked in. Come on, everyone to the seats, we don't have time to spare. This is your last day of exams, don't screw up now. Don't fall sick, like me. Gah, my head hurts. Come on, Heidi, focus. This is the exam, final exams before you're done with this crap. Whoa, alright, so he's doing exams. Oh, looks like he has finally finished his exams. Finally, the torture is over. The exams are all over and my life can return to the relatively normal to the relative normality at last. Just three days until the results, a school trip and finally summer break. Yes, you can finally go and meet your ghost friend, China Su. Whoa, 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 three days has passed. Three days has passed. That's a lot, right? Also, maybe he went for the school trip, a break and something else too. With the fruits of my labor awaiting me, I made my way to school early in the day. We wouldn't have any classes, it was just a break to check our exam results and finish any business we had at school before summer break. And of course, for any student who failed miserably, summer school. Well, the hallway is sure crowded today. Well, don't look very crowded to me. Some students are overjoyed, others are crying. It it's really a sight to behold. I kick it. She shouts from afar. Oh, hey there, Mac. Do you see your results yet? Nope, not yet. I was waiting for you. Ah, that's sweet. It's far less creepy than her usual display of kindness. Okay then, let's check out. Let's check them out together. All right. We both walk over to the list of the results. Please be a decent mark. Please be a decent mark. Haley thinks to himself. Hmm, well it's not bad, but it's not good either, right? I thought I would do better than that. I guess talking to my friend instead of studying kind of doomed me here. At least you didn't fail, so you wouldn't have to take makeup classes, makeup lesson over summer. That is perfect, right? As long as you don't need to do any summer studies or schools. Besides, the exams were really hard, so it's justified. Says the girl who totally aced her exams. Anyway, with that over, I can look forward to a stress-free vacation. Not before our school trip, you can't. School trip? School trip? Exactly what I was thinking. School trip? What school trip? Oh, that's right, the school trip. Um, where are we going again? 
I can't believe you, Hedy. How could you forget? We're going to a hot, wow, hot spring resort. Woohoohoo. Oh, that's right, hot spring, of course. Wait, wait, what? 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 How can you forget that you're going to a hot spring resort, Hedy? Isn't that a bit inappropriate? I mean, we are still in high school for crying out loud. Come down, Hedy. What are you getting so worked up about? Well, Meg is excited. We, s we stay the night at a hotel and bath in hot spring. There's nothing inappropriate about that. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Unless, you know, it's a co-ed kind of hot spring. Means the boys and girls um, enjoy the heat together. Well, when put it like that, still, I can't believe they weren't allowed mix bathing or boy-girl sleeping arrangement. Well, well... Exactly what was I what I was thinking. What kind of fascist regime are the resort owner running? Well, Mr and Mrs. Resort Owner, thank you for helping to protect my chastity. Anyway, we have another few days to prepare. I need to take care of some student council stuff for now, but after that I'm in full vacation mode. Well then, I leave you to eat. Don't work yourself too hard. Good, got it. Bye bye, Hedy. Alright, so we are going to the resort. Oh, we can finally see China, China, China. His ghostly friend. I really think China is a ghost because we haven't interacted like, with China and someone else at the same time. We only interacted with China on a one on one basis so far. With the thoughts of the upcoming school trip fresh in my mind, I, saw, I found myself walking by China's bridge. We rarely see each other at school, but with a trip like this coming up... Hey there! Oh, hello Hedy. I'm the ghost of the bridge. Long time no see. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, that's what exams do to a person. I bet you were too busy studying. How did you do? Oh, I did well. Hmm, that was a vague answer. Well, she's a ghost, right? Maybe she didn't even take an exam. Maybe China doesn't like talking about that stuff. No, she doesn't. That's good to hear. Say, are you going to a school trip? School trip? Question mark, question mark. Yeah, to the hot spring resort. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Ha, huh, I guess I'm not the only one after all. Well, I think she doesn't even know in the first place. I'm not sure if I'll go or not. I have been on many school trips before. I haven't been on many school trips before. You should come. It won't be the same if you're not there. I'll think about it. I'll be upset if you don't show up. Okay, I'll do my best to make it. She laughs. Awesome! Then I guess I'll see you there. Okay, see you then. Well, that's a pretty short conversation with China. After you ha haven't met her for a long time. You guys did even sit there and watch the sunset together again, right? Feel almost home. Mm, maybe Shiro? Some girl. Are you gonna meet some girl? As much fun as it was hanging out with Meg and others. I sure does eat, she sure does eat a lot of time. After receiving my results from the recent exam and shooting the breeze with Vero, I ultimately wandered up around, waiting around for Mac. The three of us headed to the mall for a while, buying stuff for upcoming school trip, and before we knew it, it was already night time. Oh well, I needed to de-stress after all the studying. Still, with worry what mother like mine, she's sure to... Scream at me! Huh? What's that? What? What? What's that? As I near my house, the sound of music gradually grew louder. Can you guys hear the music? Mm. Is this the mother playing the song? It was a pleasant, familiar tune, yet not one I could remember ever hearing on the radio. It's a nice melody, but where's it coming from? It's a bit late at night to be playing the radio or watching TV at home that volume. It almost sounds like it's coming from my house, but even my mother has more sense than that. As I wondered about the source of the melody, I entered my home. And who did he see? Hmm, his ghostly home. Mom, I'm home. The dot, dot mom, no response. I must be even later than I thought if mom ha has already has gone to bed already. Either that or she's out searching for me. Hmm, she wouldn't do that, would she? I don't think so. After checking to make sure my mom was indeed in the room, I grabbed something to eat and headed upstairs. 
to his bed. The moment I entered my room, I heard the same melody once more. The sound is even clearer from up here than it was from outside. I didn't leave the TV on or anything, so it doesn't appear to be coming from in here. And yet, the dot, as I looked around the room, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed an amazing sight. Oh, the girl next door, Shiro, is playing a song. But then you came from me. You really came from me. And I. Next to my window, in a room directly across mine, was Shiro. Wow, he can see Shiro from his room. Wow, that is. That is. Whoa, that is quite a view, right? So that's it. That's where I remember that melody came from. That beautiful tune carried across from my room to my ears. It was Shiro all along. As she hums away, Shiro continued to play unaware that she had a captive audience like usual. As she played, I simply watched on, listened to the hypnotic rhythm Shiro summoned from the instrument in her hands. And before I knew it, I was opening my window, eager to hear the song as clearly as possible. La la le. Hey, Heidi. Whoa, hold on. This is weird. What is this? Hmm. Why is there a split screen? Do my lashes continue? It seems like a, this is a darker room. It's a brighter room. Ah, bastard. I open my window and nearly near, nearby disturbance caught Shiro attention, disrupting her song and putting an end to the one man show. Don't stop on my account. Please continue. You, do the, you want me to keep going? Absolutely. A private show just for me. Being your neighbor is certainly being your neighbor certainly has some perks, doesn't it? Oh so I think he's looking out of his window and he see her. But it's quite weird, right? I think there's some problem. She should be here and this is his room looking out here and I think this is her room. Yep, but let's ignore that for now. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you are enjoying yourself. I usually try not to play this late at night, but with the stress of exam having built up, I just couldn't help myself. It's okay, Shiro. They can't hurt you anymore. Haha, <laughs> indeed. Still, I keep forgetting that you live next door to me. Lies. Lies. Of course you can remember someone living next door to you, right? It must be because your household is so quiet. Are you sure it isn't just your terrible memory? I've caught you more than once looking at your hands before saying my name. Ah, bastard. Fair enough, but the only cure for that is to spend more time together, don't you know? You want to spend more time together? Absolutely. You know, when we're going to school or returning home, it's no fun to go home by yourself, right? I suppose, I suppose. But you're gonna have to start living earlier if you want to walk together. You can't stay up all night playing video games if you are going to be walking to school with me. How does Shiro know that Hades has been playing video games all night? Hmm. Geez, my secret has been uncovered. That's okay. It is for the sake of walking a cute girl like you to school. Giving up late night video gaming is nothing. Hmm. How does she know that, you know? Hades is playing video game all night. She must be looking out her window too. Cute, 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 cute. As soon as the word left my mouth, I realized what I just said. Whatever, however, while no mistruth has been spoken, the impact was something I was not prepared for. Alright, I think she's a bit embarrassed. Did I just break Shiro? Mm, Shiro? Hello, after Shiro. Huh? Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I might have zoned out there for a second. I could have sworn I heard something embarrassing. So that's Shiro's defense mechanism, huh? Well, Hedy, just tell, just tell her that she's cute again. Just, just say that. Anyway, forget about that. Hey, you just, you just, no, you should just tell her, no, I just said you're cute. I just said you're cute, Jiro. More importantly, what were you just saying? We live together for a while, yet 
I don't think I ever heard you sing late at night like this before. <laughs> That's because you usually have the volume turned up on your TV or you have your headphones on. Huh? Not that I was watching you or anything. Haha. <laughs> she finally admits that, eh? I just happened to notice while I was playing. That's all. Oh, so they can see each other when they are in a room? Whoa, that's too close, right? First Mac, now Shiro, not to mention real. Am I simply undeserving of privacy? Well, I guess that's my loss. I'll just have to turn the volume down in the future. I wouldn't want to miss out on your next jam session. Haha, <laughs> you don't have to do that. I'm perfectly fine without an audience. Yes, but your audience may not be happy with you if you keep playing without them. Oh, she will express a drop as though she realized something. So then, what do we do now? Hmm, we need to start spending more time together if I'm going to remember your name. Let's walk to school together from now on, okay? Are you sure you'll be up early enough? Is, is asking her to walk to school like asking her on a date or something like that? It's quite weird, right? Of course, I'll be waiting outside a house from dusk till dawn. No, wait. I'll be waiting for you. Uh-huh. 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 It's quite weird, right? I think they are conversing over the window or something like that. Haha, <laughs> come down, Haley. I've watched you leave your house on days when I've been too unwell to attend class. If you leave around 10 minutes earlier, we can go together. Oh, okay then. What you said? I'd rather start going to bed earlier than if I want to wake up early enough to walk with you. Yes, after hearing your mother chastise you for always sleeping in, I think that might be a good idea. Having Shiro as a neighbor might be more unsettling than I thought. Well, looks like Shiro has always been looking at your mother scolding you. <laughs> it's quite weird, right? She's been stalking you, Haley. She's been stalking you. Good night, Hedy. See you later in a few hours. Okay, guys, I think this is a good place to stop for part 12 of no one, no one, no one, absolutely no one but you. I hope my throat will recover by soon or in a few hours' time and I'll start posting many more videos. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Bye! Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you get scared? Well, subscribe to my channel and I promise you, you'll never get scared again. Or watch more videos and you'll be able to find your peace in life.